Proto-Twin Simulate now supports many more types of conveyors, including spiral conveyors, twist conveyors, and arbitrary splines. Furthermore, the workflow to configure conveyors is simplified to a single click. Let's take a look. Configuring a transport service component couldn't be easier. Just add the component and then select the surface with a single click. You can toggle the direction of the curve using the right mouse button. That's all there is to it, and this method works with all conveyor types. Here we configure a straight belt conveyor and a spiral conveyor. You don't need to specify any other properties such as the angle or incline. What is typically a long-winded process in other industrial simulation software is made effortless in Proto-Twin. We've added a powerful general inverse kinematic solver, which is able to solve the inverse kinematics for all types of industrial robot. In fact, the solver can handle most types of mechanisms, including those containing closed loops. We demonstrate here the Universal Robotics UR3E robot, which is performing a sequence of linear moves. A mechanical gripper grips the box using friction. All the joints are driven using dynamic motors with full feedback positional control. A simple scripted program executes the moves in sequence. We'll be providing a simple graphical user interface for robot programming in the next version. We've made some small usability improvements that allow you to quickly visualize joints. Hovering your mouse cursor over a joint now displays the axis and anchor point for the joint. This can be helpful when you need to find a specific joint or to confirm that the properties were configured correctly. Hovering your mouse cursor over the base property now also highlights the selected entity with a white outline. This is useful for identifying the other entity to which the joint was attached. Sometimes imported CAD contains a lot of visual detail. These parts typically contain only graphics components and may be of no consequence for the simulation. Many such entities can clutter the Explorer, making it more difficult to find the entities that contain important behavior. With the new filtering options, you can now search for entities by the components attached to them. In this example, we want to display only the entities with physics components. You can then hover over the results to highlight the entities in the viewport. This makes it much easier to home in on a specific part. Finally, we've added the ability to configure the units of values displayed in the inspector. Proto-Twin uses meters as the units of distance by default, but it may be useful to swap to millimeters if you're working with smaller parts.